by something. The basketball gene, I've, I've completely and fully passed off to Gianna. She's got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all her now. I know you got to go, but do you freak out at her games? Because uh, I know that you're also a coach. Yeah, I coach. No, I don't, I don't freak out. I mean, they, um, I mean, she works really, really hard. When you see her playing well? Yeah, I mean, she's, she's like, man, she works, man. I mean, they, they practice two hours a day. And Jeez. she's, um, like, fully committed. Her and her teammates as well. I mean, really, really committed to yeah. playing. So I enjoy watching them play. It's fun because you get to see the growth. Like, when they first started and not being able to, like, just dribble the ball and walk mm -hmm. at the same time. To now, like, grasping really complicated concepts and uh, just reading and reacting on their own. It's, it's fun to watch them grow, man. You think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does. Like, I, I don't. I mean, this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great, dude, man? I, I'm telling you, the, be, the best thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like, "Hey, you gotta have a boy. You and V gotta have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy." She's like, "Oh, I got this." <laughs> <laughs> you know, boy, for that, I got this. third daughter, Bianca, was about a year and a half old at the time, so I asked if he wanted more children. And he said that his wife, Vanessa, really wanted to try again for a boy, but was sort of jokingly concerned that it would be another girl. And I was like, four girls, are you joking? Like, what would you think? How would you feel? And without hesitation, he said, I would have five more girls if I could. I'm a girl dad. When it came to sports, he said that his oldest daughter was an accomplished volleyball player and that the youngest was a toddler, so TBD. But that middle one, he said, that middle one was a monster. She's a beast. She's better than I was at her age. She's got it. That middle one, of course, was Gigi. When I reflect on this tragedy and that half an hour that I spent with Kobe Bryant two years ago, I suppose that the only small source of comfort for me is knowing that he died doing what he loved the most, being a dad, being a girl dad. I'll go up and I'll give Gigi a hug and tell her, you know, to go out there and kill. And she was like, don't worry about that, Uncle Mac. I got this. <laughs> and she was special, man. She was special. She was built like Kobe. Her mannerism, everything. I mean, just to watch her play was like watching a young Kobe. The mood, she had a fadeaway. <laughs> At 13 years old, I'm watching this girl, and it, it just looks like her dad out there. I'm like, damn, she's going to be special. You know what's funny? I wound up, so before Gigi got into basketball, I hardly watched it. But now that she's into basketball, we watch, it's, it's on she every night. She wants to watch it, too. It's on every night. I love it. It's yeah. on every night. Right? Yeah. And I mean, every game. I mean, she she asked me to get the lead pass on her phone and everything. Oh, like she's she, all, yeah. She watches I love it. everything. So, you know, we'll watch. She like, she likes watching Trey Young a lot. She watches Luca a lot. She watches James. She watches Russ. I mean, she watches Bron. She watches, I mean, she watches. Mm -hmm. who, would you, who, who you would watch? She watches. She watches who I would watch, right. I guess. I mean, right. and, and there's so many young, talented players out there. It's, uh, it's amazing. And when I took it to the Laker game, that's the first Laker game I've been to, I think, since my Jersey retirement. Really? Mm -hmm. And um, we just had so much fun because for the first time, I was seeing the game through her eyes. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me sitting there, you know, as an athlete or a player or something like that. And then, you know, it's, it's like about me and I don't like that. It was her, like she was having such a good time and the players were coming up and saying right. hi to her. And, right. You know, and Brian was talking about her fade away and all, you know, it, it was it was exciting and she had such a great time as mm -hmm. a father and you just- That's all you that's want, every, that's yes, all you can ask for. Yes, yes. God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to heaven together. Babe, 
you take care of our Gigi. And I got Nani, Bibi, and Coco. We're still the best team. We love and miss you, Boo Boo and Gigi. May you both rest in peace and have fun in heaven until we meet again one day. We love you both and miss you forever and always. Mommy.